Chad Christensen from Architex. Hello. This is their biggest show to date, for, specifically for them. The biggest headline show ever. Cool, so before we come down, have a look at their rig. Turns out that they're using some of the Fino's products as well. Um, so do you want to talk us what, what Fino are you using at the moment? Sure. Um, so these are brand new for me. I uh, just started using them on this tour. I've got two of the Torpedo Lives, which have been really, really great. Uh, I've been using a Torpedo Studio at home for a little while, and I've wanted to do some similar live as well. So I've got two of those, and they've been working out great. Cool. And what is it about the two notes, the live and the studio, compared to other products you've used in the past? Um, I've used other load boxes. Like this is actually the first tour in a while where I've been back to using amps. We've been using uh, Kempers and stuff for like fly days and festivals and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's a little more convenient, but I want to use the my favorite stuff again. So it's just great to be able to. And these are the Mesa. Yeah, got a Mark V and a dual rectifier. So beautiful there. Uh, so it's just really great to kind of get the best of both worlds and be able to use the amps. When our front of house guy loves having just a clean DI. We don't use any mics on stage anymore. We've got live cabs, but it's just a lot cleaner as far as front of house goes to oh. have mics. Oh, cool. So you do, I take it you have like stage sound, but then the main actual sound of your your set is the yeah. live. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. We were using mics in the past, but it's just too much bleed. It just makes it a lot cleaner for them to have a wow. straight digital AI. That's incredible. Okay. I didn't realize yeah. that. So what cabinets are you using in here so that people who are fans of you guys can kind of get some more time? Uh, I have been playing around with a little bit. I'm a, we use rectifier cabs on stage, and that's kind of what I've been trying to mimic as close as possible. Um, I found thus far the California standard C. The open, or sorry, the oversized one, which was nice as well, and we tried an impulse response that was based on a cabinet we were using for recording as well. We just found this was a little bit brighter, just worked better for live. So this is basically just a stereo setup. I've got all my uh, drive pedals. Uh, no, front and both amps. Yeah. So these are shared between both amps. Everything is split with this radial unit here, and then uh, the Strymon pedals are uh, in the effects loops of both amps to give me. Uh, connected by MIDI, I take it, yep, for everything yep. as well. So you guys don't have to do anything? I, well, I've, I do it myself, but it's all done by MIDI uh, with this RJM unit. And I've got it all controlled on stage. So I switch all my channels, all my presets, and everything. So I've got no actual audio on stage. Everything's in the rack. Great. And do you find that these are uh, really reliable to use live? Have you had any issues? They're great thus far, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I've never had a problem, but I think the fact we're actually using a cab as well, so it's not really like taking any load, so it's not really breaking it, per yeah. se. So the cabs are being used live, but this is just kind of to give the front of house a nice clean yeah. sound to work with. Awesome. That's great. Last thing, you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. I mean, now, a couple hours before doors, not so much, but no. half an hour, 45 minutes before stage time, might be a different story. Oh, beer, call me nerves. Yeah, I'm going to have to. have to break the rules tonight. Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.